Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. So I'm gonna track one stock, AMD, for the next 52 weeks. I'm gonna track their charts, their good news, their bad news, when the price is at a good value or at a bad value. I figure if I'm keeping track of just one stock for the next 52 weeks, I will know this company in and out and when I could get it at a good price and when it's overvalued. So I wanna really buy low and sell high or if they have some major news to come out, I wanna put a lump sum of money into it and see how much money can I make over the next 52 weeks just tracking one company. This week is the start of week two. Week one went well so far, so let's hope week two goes just as well. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back Dream Team. If you have not subscribed yet, scroll down just a little bit and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, the like button because it really helps out this channel more than you think it do. Let's try to get this video to, let's say 50 likes. So here we are on my Robinhood account. Right now it's at $18,853. But what we're focused on this week is AMD. So let's scroll down to AMD so I can show you guys how successful I was last week at tracking AMD just from drawing a couple of lines on my charts. All right, here we are at AMD. The price is at $52.32. I think this is at a fair value for AMD. Last week, if you guys watched the last video, you will see that I purchased two shares of AMD at $49.47. It's been a very long time since I seen AMD under $50, and I decided to pick up some shares just because I did know the company. Um, at first, this was one of my favorite companies, and whenever I see AMD under $50, I decide to go ahead and purchase a couple of shares. At the time, I had about 100 bucks inside my um, portfolio, so I decided to pick up two shares. And throughout the week, AMD did go up and went up to um, $52.12. Uh, so I sold two shares at $104.24. So let's calculate my profit on that right quick. So I have my calculator pulled up. I sold at $104.24 and I bought it at $98.94. So I had a profit of $5.30 in just one week of tracking amd week one um i'm gonna show you guys how i'm going to invest week two just make sure that you stick to the end of this video so we're looking at percent gain in one week i gained 98 94. if my math is correct um i profited off of that trade 5.3 percent in just one week of tracking amd so that is an amazing profit in just one week of tracking amd and all i did last week was draw charts i didn't read any news i didn't look at uh the time frame of what amd had for their future goals all i did was read the charts so i'm going to pull up the charts right quick to show you guys what i did and this week i'm going to invest based off of news all right and here we go this is the think or swim platform that i used last week if you guys want to know exactly what i did go back to week one and check out that video but i drew the uh support line and the resistance lines right here if we zoom in just a little bit right here, let's zoom in. I said that AMD was using this as a support line because it bounced right here. And at the time, AMD was right here. And I said that it was gonna use this line as a support line and it did. And that's why it went from right here all the way up to right here. So around 5.27%. If we're looking at just the chart right now, AMD could use the 180 day simple moving average as its resistance. But as I went through the news for the week, the news is looking pretty good. So I'm thinking that AMD might explode above the 180 day simple moving average. If not, then it'll stay in between the 180 day simple moving average around $53.69 and it'll stay above at least $49.74. So that is my play for the week. This is my strategy for the week um, to not invest anything above $54. I would wanna get in before $54. And I do not think it's gonna fall below $49 to be exact. So that is AMD charts for the week. But like I said, let's get into the news for the week so I can show you guys why I'm investing the way that I'm going to invest this week. All right, guys, and we're back. If we're taking a look, I looked at AMD 2020 and 2021 roadmap. In fact, Apple announced about a week ago that they are no longer gonna use 
um, Intel CPUs inside of their laptops or computers or desktops anymore. Um, starting in the year 2021, 2022, they're gonna start using their own Apple CPUs. So that's gonna take a big hit on Intel. So Intel started to ship their uh, CPUs back over to um, to supply other parts of the of the world with their CPUs, but they do not think it's going to affect Nvidia, and they do not think it's going to affect AMD. In fact, Steam, which is a gaming company, they just came out with some new hardware that is actually using AMD GPUs. So that's another exciting news for AMD. But the big news that I seen for AMD coming out this week was they was the first ones that they beat Nvidia and they beat Intel to producing seven nanometer chips, okay? So they was the first one, seven NM chips. Um, and then if you read this article, it's gonna show you their goals all the way from 2020 to 2022. So in 2020, they're coming out with their Ryzen's 4000s, which is gonna be inside laptops. If we keep scrolling down, right now they're at seven nanometers and Zen 3, there's still gonna be seven nanometers. But in 2022, they're gonna try to come out with the first fourth gen five nanometer chip. So um, AMD do have their roadmap planned out. I like where their roadmap is going. So let's go back over to Robinhood. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to invest into AMD this week. I did try to search for some bad news. Not much bad news was coming out except for um, they're releasing a new chip and they don't think it's gonna do that well because a lot of stores are shut down. But being a computer enthusiast, a lot of uh, guys, a lot of people ordered their uh, CPUs online and we're finding ways to get what we used to get in the store online. So I don't think it's gonna do that bad. I don't think it's gonna do great. But uh, just looking at the future of this company, I think that I think that the good news this week outweighs the bad news that is coming out. So let's go over to Robinhood so I can show you guys how I'm investing to AMD this week. All right, so here we are back on AMD. I'm going to do a trade option this week on AMD because I do not think the price is gonna go down too much. I do not think that it's gonna go down below $49. So if we go to July 10th, I'm gonna do a sell put and a buy put to make it a, a sell credit spread. So all you have to do is hit the select button at the top right. Like I said, I do not think it's gonna go below $49. So I'm gonna do a put, um, a sell put right here on 48, break even is 47.85. And then all I have to do is click buy put and then I'm going to put it a little below. So if it stays above $48, I would just collect the premium of $5. And if it goes below 47, then I have the options to sell AMD at $47 per share for hundred shares. So all I have to do is swipe up. I'm also going to do a full tutorial over all the options trades. If you guys would like to find out exactly how I'm doing this. So let's hit review. Um, two that will give me a profit of $10. If it stays above $48 hit review and I'm going to swipe up. And there it goes when the uh, market opens up on Monday, my options should be placed in and hopefully this week I can gain another $10 worth of profit from AMD. and Alright guys, and there we go. The applications that I use in this video was Robinhood. If you sign up by clicking the link down in the description, you'll get a free share just from signing up. And I also use Thinkorswim, which is a platform by TD Ameritrade. Both of these platforms are completely free. If you'd like to follow along with this journey, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be doing a lot more trades and swing trades and day trades on AMD in the future. If you don't want to miss out, join the dream team. Just hit the subscribe button down below. Let's try to get this video to 50 likes. If we can get it to 50 likes, then I know you guys like this series and I will continue to make this series. Hopefully I will profit $10 by the end of this week. Um, stay tuned if you guys want to find out. But other than that, I'm Zeke. Bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.